I've built almost 30 sources of passive income that pay me around the clock, even while I'm sleeping. And last month they paid me $11,636 in total. There is no better feeling than waking up and having more money than when you went to bed or to be on a vacation and see the passive payments roll in. Well, if you want to do the same, then let me show you how I did it so that you might get a few ideas for yourself. All this passive income can be broken down into five categories. And the first category is a favorite, it's crypto mining. I've been mining Bitcoin for just over one year year now and it's really crazy to me that it's already been a year. In September, I mined 0.135 Bitcoin, which is worth $3,659 today. I've spent just over $100,000 to get all 19 of my Bitcoin miners, and I've mined 1.885 BTC so far, which is worth about $51,000 today. Three of those 19 miners were added just last month. I spent about $1,400 on electricity mining Bitcoin in the past month. I'll hit two full Bitcoin mined this month and I will mine just under three full Bitcoin by the time the halving happens. If you want to start mining Bitcoin today, well, you can expect to pay a lot less than I did to buy Bitcoin mining machines. And right now, if you want to host them, well, hosting typically costs about $140 to $160 a month per machine to run them. If you want to buy and host Bitcoin miners, well, then you need to check out Musk Miners. They are my trusted mining machine and hosting provider. I bought all of my machines from them. They will even help you sell your machines if you want to flip them for way more money than you paid for them when the bull market finally comes around. Check out the link and special code in the video description for Musk Miners. Next up is Fraction Mining. This is a really cool project started by fellow YouTuber Tactical Investing. You buy an NFT, they take that money to set up mining containers and then you get paid each month. I have 25 of their Bitcoin mining NFTs. They were $300 each, so $7,500 in total. In September, these paid me about $140. I just bought two more of their BTC mining NFTs. I also bought 12 of their Cadena mining NFTs and I just bought two of their Caspa NFTs and two of their Caspa Special Edition NFTs. So that's a total additional investment of $10,900 for a return of roughly $1,200 to $1,500 a month in the future. All the Bitcoin NFTs are sold out now, but there is still just under 100 KDA mining NFTs left and 400 of the Caspa mining NFTs left since those just launched. They also have about 20 to 30 of the big boy special edition Caspa mining NFTs left, but those might be sold out by the time this video goes live. I'm personally really excited about the Caspa mining NFTs that Fraction is offering. And I'm excited because all my Fraction mining NFTs should get more and more profitable as more machines come online and as prices hopefully increase in the future. A few months ago, I bought two Ice River KS0 miners for $1,000 each. These miners are specifically for Caspa. And as I was mining, I was cashing out every day for a while. But right now I am just mining and stacking Caspa with them. They barely use any electricity, so they will be profitable for a long time. They've already made me about $1,400 so far, and they will probably break even sometime next year and then be pure profit. And if you were to buy them now, you can actually buy them for half of what I paid a few months ago. My two Caspa miners made $197 last month. I'm also still mining with my little iPolo V1 Mini SE Plus. What a name. The warp field generator is a power flow anti-attenuator and that, of course, naturally created an amplification of the inherent energy output. The tiny miner that only uses a little over 200 watts of power. I really like these little mini miners, especially for people who are mining at home. Well, for the past couple of months, I've been mining Octaspace with my iPolo. And last month it mined about $25 worth of Octa. Of course, I still have my GPU mining rigs and my FPGAs mining, but those are all spec mining, some super early plays right now. If you're interested in that, I actually share everything I am mining super early in my community sleep money club this is where i shared caspa and neoxa and others well before they were the talk of the town we have a seven day no risk free trial so you got to check it out i also just started cell phone mining varus coin which I'll cover in an upcoming video. I bought a few phones to mine it on, but I also bought this crazy phone mining box thing from eBay that was 
talked about in some videos, but I haven't actually seen anybody holding. Well, I've received it, it works, and I'm pretty excited to show it to everyone. In the past few months, I also bought $10,000 worth of AlphaShares Mining Co. Mining NFTs. These will pay out Bitcoin mining rewards, but also returns from the refinement of the element antimony. Uh -huh. It's a pretty fascinating project. Their Bitcoin miners are actually online right now and operating, and they are working towards getting their refinement up and running too. This one should have pretty impressive returns. I'll definitely cover this in future passive income updates once it is actually paying out, but I also cover it more in depth in some future videos, hopefully. The next category up is another favorite, which is crypto nodes. If you know me, you know I like crypto nodes. Well, first of my nodes is Neoxa, and in an unusual twist, my flux nodes aren't my top node payout for the month. What a twist! Neoxa is a crypto gaming project that's pretty small right now, but I think it has a lot of potential. I'm running 11 Neoxa nodes that paid me roughly $1,742 in September. I invested $6,200 to buy and mine enough Neoxa to run these nodes, but today the 11 nodes will cost you about $30,000 to buy. Each single node costs a little under $3,000 to purchase right now. If I put my prediction hat on, I think this one will continue to be a big earner in future months. The node I have run the longest is for a project called Flux. People can host their websites, apps, or whatever they want on the nodes on the Flux network. And then when you run a node, you get a reward. They're also working on a bunch of super interesting stuff right now around compute and around AI. I run 11 of their biggest nodes and three of their middle-sized nodes. And last month, these paid me $1,162. Between the money I spent on electricity to mine Flux and direct investments into Flux, I have spent about $9,000 to get all of my Flux. And today, all of my Flux is worth about $163,000. I also run about 40 nodes for a project called PreSearch that uses nodes to run its decentralized search engine. I have staked on each of my nodes anywhere from 2,000 to 20,000 PreSearch tokens. I have 120,000 Pre tokens in my nodes, and last month they made me $145. Streamer is another project I run nodes for. I run 10 of these nodes and they paid me $107 last month. They currently pay a 27% yearly return. I have a few more miscellaneous nodes that all came out to be about 120 dollars in total and income last month projects like constellation raptorium sc prime and playable and actually playable is one i'm about to expand my position on i currently have two other nodes but i want to scale this up asap especially because they have been building all bear market and they even launched their first game i'm a huge believer in the gaming narrative going into the next bull run and i think that buying playable nodes right now could be like buying a gala games node back in 2000 2020 when they were less than $4,000 each. And if you know the rest of that story, you know that a Gala Games node right now costs $100,000. And to top it off, Playable actually has their nodes on sale right now. So I will let you know how many nodes I get and what that looks like going forward. Okay, now let's talk about my next category, trading bots and revenue share. First though is stock options. This is the least passive thing on this list and it's not crypto, but it feels like a great fit with all this other stuff. And though it's not a bot, it is trading. And to be fair, I only spend about 30 minutes a week doing it. Well, I made $2,906 from selling stock options. This was actually partially in August and September, but since I kind of took the second half of September off from options, I am backdating a little here to get the full 30 days picture. And I actually have a really great, if I do say so myself, video on stock options right here. Okay, on to the bots. And my most basic of bots, a DCA bot, AKA dollar cost averaging bots. I run these all the time. All they do is buy a specific crypto at an interval I choose. Could be once a day, once a week, or once a month. Well, I'm always changing up what I'm buying. And since lately Bitcoin has decided to increase in price, I'm not complaining. A lot of the other cryptos have too. So for September, I made a little over $300 with my DCA bots. I've also been running some trading bots. The project WarFi has their WarBot NFTs. You put money in, they set up crypto trading bots, then you get paid out each month 
the profits for your share. My little robot trader is working even while I sleep. Well, I've been running these for almost nine months now, and they've been making money every month so far. In September, they made a 4.2% return. I have $4,800 in war bots, so I made $202 in profit last month. Now, I think pretty much any trading bot is a higher risk investment, so I only invest what I'm okay losing. But it does seem like my war bots have been a good decision so far because many other trading bots have failed. But these just keep making money. Of course, this is good advice for anything on this list. Crypto is extremely risky at times, so don't invest more than you can afford to lose. And if you wanna check Warbots out or any of these other things, I do have a lot of links for this stuff down in the description. Next up is Project 79, which is a marketplace for various companies based around commodities or right now, specifically around gold. I love gold. I have $6,700 in Project 79 split between a gold mining company and a gold arbitrage program. I don't have an exact amount I will be paid for September yet, but it should be about $80 which isn't a lot, but this should ramp up as the gold mine I have some of my money in comes online. One of the easiest ways to make money with crypto passively is this next category, crypto staking. I run pre-search nodes, but I also do keyword staking with them. If you stake some pre-tokens, you can basically run an ad on their search engine. I stake about 40,000 pre-search tokens so I can run ads for companies and products I like and that I have affiliate links to. Last month, I made just under $500 from keyword staking on pre-search. I think lots of things will be tokenized in the future and real estate seems like a natural fit for this. In the future, you could buy a small piece of some real estate property. Well, Block Square is a project I like that is doing this, and I stake all my BST tokens for a 9% yearly return. In September, I made $141 doing this with a little over 100,000 Block Square tokens. Another crypto I have been staking is Sphere Finance. Sphere is building a portfolio of crypto projects, you can stake your Sphere tokens for 15.5% APR right now. And in September, I made about $45 from staking. I have just under two and a half million Sphere tokens being staked. I'm also staking Varus coin, which made me a tiny $8 from staking, uh, about $1,900 worth of this coin. Passive income devices are my next category. I love the idea of devices that pay passive income. I have a few that are already running, but I have a few more that I'm about to start running very soon. Well, a few months ago, I installed a little device in our cars from a company called Demo. The device connects to the car's diagnostic port and collects vehicle information, and in return, you earn their Demo token. I have two of these devices that cost $300 each, and they paid me $76 in September, which is a 13% monthly return. These are very profitable little devices. And then a few weeks ago, I installed installed a Hive Mapper dash cam in one of our cars. It takes photos and helps build what is basically a decentralized Google Street View. The camera costs less than $300 and in two weeks has earned me about $28 with very minimal driving. So far, this one looks like it will also be quite profitable. Crank is a project that picks up where Helium left off with IoT. You can actually use your Helium hotspots with Crank and probably earn more money. I only have one hotspot going at this moment, but I plan to add a few more and and my one hotspot earned me $13 last month. I also have a Deeper Connect Mini, which is a hardware decentralized VPN device that costs about $130. It earned $15 in June with all my tokens staked on the device. They also just launched their Deeper Connect Air, which is great for traveling and you can pre-order it now. It's basically like buying a VPN once and then having the service for life and also getting paid to use it. I'm pretty excited about checking out the Air. Also earning me $15 for the month is my Helium Hotspot, which I am still running. I also have a low power Chia miner from Evergreen. It earned me about $15 last month. I really like Chia, so this is kind of a set it and forget it kind of thing. I just want to accumulate Chia over the next year or two without thinking about it. Now, Bitcoin mining has clearly been making me the most money of all these different sources. Watch this video to see a deep dive on whether or not it has been worth it to mine Bitcoin over the past year. Goodbye.